If you recall, when we talked about the 3CX saga from last week, attackers compromised a very popular soft phone provider, 3CX, that delivers VoIP for Fortune 500, Global 1000 organizations. And it turns out nested within the malware was legitimate signed libraries. Yeah. You would think that if the attacker is adding their own custom code to these libraries, it would cause the signatures to no longer be valid. And that's the whole purpose, right, of signed binaries is so that the operating system can trust that nothing's been tampered with and you can execute it with less restrictions. But in fact, these attackers managed to include malicious code that tricked the operating system into still thinking that the libraries were trusted. It turns out that this particular vulnerability was known and fixed 10 years ago. Oh. And yeah. you might be wondering, well, why the heck is this still a thing? This is like the tale of good intentions gone awry. Microsoft first discovered this problem back in 2013, realized, yeah, we could invalidate any libraries that have this trailer data in them, but doing so would cause a whole bunch of legitimate apps to break. For example, Google Chrome tacks on into <laughs> their browser's binary information to say, hey, if you want to send crash reports or stats whenever Google crashes, we can keep track of that state with this trailer section of their signed binary. Google's not the only one that was using it this way. There were a bunch of other apps using this way. So Microsoft said, you know what, we're not going to enforce this mechanism by default, but we'll leave it as an opt-in thing, which is like the death knell for any security. Oh yeah, a lot of unintended consequences. So in order to opt in, you need to apply some sort of registry fix. And oh, by the way, anytime you upgrade Windows or patch Windows, chances are that registry fix gets reverted. This basically ensures that this good intentions fix never actually gets applied in practice, which is precisely what happened here. Microsoft is proposing, hey, use Windows Defender or some other EDR to protect you. But the reality is there's an already built in operating system level mechanism to fix and address this. We're hoping that Microsoft steps up and does the right thing and actually rolling out a proper fix this time, but who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens.